Hi, welcome to The Wall. This is a short safety video about bouldering. Please watch carefully as you will be required to answer questions and sign a registration form stating that you understand the risks involved. Bouldering is climbing on short walls without the use of ropes. Traversing is climbing sideways along the wall close to the ground. Soft matting beneath the walls does not make bouldering safer. Broken and sprained limbs are common injuries at bouldering walls. The wall is set out in graded bouldering problems. Each problem uses only one colour for hands and feet. The start of a problem is marked with a white tag. An up arrow on this tag indicates that the problem is difficult for the grade range. A down arrow shows that it is easy and a straight line indicates that it is in the middle of the grade range. Problems graded 3 to 4 are suitable for beginners and for children. When climbing, you can use the surface of the wall and the green volumes to complete the climb. Each problem is finished with two hands on the top hole. When you reach the top of the wall, you can down climb using any colour in order to get to the bottom safely. You can practice jumping and falling off before committing to the top of the climb. If you have an unexpected fall, try to land in a controlled manner. So, bending both knees, landing squarely on your feet. Tuck your chin and your arms in by your sides and roll onto your back to absorb the force of the fall. Always be aware of other climbers on the wall and never sit, stand, walk or climb beneath them. The landing zone is the area on the mats where the climber could fall and it must be kept clear at all times. Remember that on overhanging climbing, the landing zone is bigger than usual. If you are supervising young climbers, it is especially important to ensure that they do not walk or run beneath any climbers. Personal possessions, such as clothes, bags, and water bottles, should not be kept on the matting. These can be kept in the storage areas provided. Holds may spin or break at any time, so if you notice a hold that is broken or spinning, please report it to a member of staff. Specialised training equipment is available for use here at the wall. This includes finger and canvas boards. This equipment should only be used by experienced climbers. We don't recommend that climbers under the age of 18 use this equipment in case of finger or tendon injury. Thanks for watching the video. Please remember that climbing and bouldering are dangerous activities. So if you have any questions, ask a member of staff. Look out for yourself and for others. Climb safely and enjoy your time at the wall.